Ashley, that's not how life works. You can't say you're giving yourself the cream of the crop life and then you're also settling. Ashley, if you're not doing the training and you're at the bottom, then it means you're not at the top. Am I right? Correct. I don't care how I feel. I care about the facts. Would you agree? Correct. The facts are you're not putting the work in to stay at the top and be the cream of the crop and get the life you want or go to the next level. Ashley, Ashley, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe you should have the cream of the crop life and your life should be great? Or do you, should you have an average life? Which one? Cream of the crop. Are you giving yourself the opportunity to do that or are you settling by not doing the training? A little bit both. Ashley, that's not how life works. You can't say you're giving yourself the cream of the crop life and then you're also settling. Ashley, if you're not doing the training and you're at the bottom, then it means you're not at the top. Am I right? Correct. I don't care how I feel. I care about the facts. Would you agree? Correct. The facts are you're not putting the work in to stay at the top and be the cream of the crop and get the life you want or go to the next level. And by the way, Ashley, let's say you're the top salesperson in your company. Let's say you were. Wouldn't you want to stay sharp? Let's say you're at the bottom. Wouldn't you want to elevate? Ashley, are you the best salesperson in the company? Are you the best salesperson in an automotive group company. I don't sell. Okay. What are okay, could you be? Yes. Okay. If I if I made 700 grand a year selling cars in a bad market and I taught you what I know, could you go do the same thing in a great market? I would hope so. Ashley, Ashley, listen. Do me a favor. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. Write this down. Everybody listen to me. I want you to write down dialogue. The way you talk. Do you have loser dialogue or winner dialogue? It is black or it is white. Okay, Ashley, if I ask you, can you be the top salesperson and you say, I hope so? Loser dialogue. The answer is, I know so. The question is, why aren't you? Because you're not trying. You're not giving it all you got. And if you don't give it all you got, can you get there? Okay, now do you want to change, yes or no? Yes. Okay, will you start doing the training with us, please? That's my girl. Ashley, I promise you, listen to me. I don't want to waste your time. I know you've done things before in your life that's wasted your time. And maybe someone told you that this was wasting your time. I want to tell you something. The only thing that I want from you, I don't want you to be me. I want you to be you. I want you to go get everything in your life you've ever wanted and more. That's all I want, okay? If you'll do me a favor, if you'll train every day, if you'll self-improve every day, if you'll raise your standards every day, if you'll set the example every day for what it means to be the best in the company, if you'll chase your dreams every day, if you'll pay the price every day, which is just no price. Dude, you're either gonna be exhausted doing this and then making a ton of money, or you're gonna be exhausted getting small paychecks. Choose your exhaustion. Okay, Ashley, thank you for making the commitment. I wanna say this to everybody. Let's have another call in 10 days. 10 days. Anybody, anybody that has fallen below the standard should be ashamed and embarrassed unless they had a family emergency. Because all they're saying, all they're saying to the owner, to the leadership, to their family, to themselves, to their customers, is I don't care. 
If you don't want to win, this isn't the right company for you. If you do want to win, we're not asking you to do anything crazy. We're asking you to give us 10 or 15 minutes a day. That's all we're asking for. And in return, we're giving you back a better life. Guaranteed. But I can guarantee one thing. If you don't do the training, you're not going to work here. And I guarantee if you don't do the training, you're going to have the same life next year that you had this year or even worse. I guarantee that. I want you to have the next level. 10 days from now. I want you to call me and be like, Andy, I'm sorry. We don't have anybody to do a call with. There is no call. Look forward to that. Okay, every manager, every GM, understand this. Those people that are not holding the standard, do one-on-ones with them and just find out if they're lazy. If they are, it's cool. They don't have to be anymore. They don't care. I know they care. Maybe they need a reason. They need a why. They need some they need to remember why they're here. Let's let's Good remind point, them. Andy. Make sure they have a why. Yeah, make sure they have a why. Let's remind them why they're here. I know that sometimes I mistakenly assume that everybody feels as driven as me because I don't understand what it feels like not to be driven because I forgot that part of my life. But there was a time where I was nobody, I didn't have anything, and I was running around dragging my feet and I didn't care. And somebody changed my life and that's what I want us to do for them. This training will change their life. Just get them to do it. I promise you, man, if we'll drink the Kool-Aid for a better life, everything's going to change, and you were the one that made it happen.